Republican congressman calls for resignation of U.S. House Speaker over blocking aid to Ukraine. Marjorie Taylor Greene, a member of the U.S. House of Representatives and Trump's ally, has initiated the resignation of a fellow party member, House Speaker Mike Johnson, who is delaying U.S. aid to Ukraine. The Hill reported this. According to an informed source, Green has filed a motion to remove Johnson from power, the same procedural step that led to the resignation of former Republican Speaker Kevin McCarthy in October 2023. This was preceded by the House of Representatives' approval of a U.S. $1.2 trillion spending package to avert a U.S. government shutdown. On Steve Bannon's podcast on Friday morning, Green accused Johnson of giving too much away to U.S. President Joe Biden and Democrats at government funding talks. Whether there will be enough votes to remove Speaker Johnson is unclear. According to The Hill, this is due to the fact that a number of Democrats who unanimously voted for McCarthy's resignation in October say they will support Johnson if he continues to make bipartisan deals with Biden on issues such as government funding and aid to Ukraine. Johnson refused to consider the Senate-approved support package for Ukraine, but promised to work on a House version of the bill when Congress returns to Washington in the middle of next month after a recess. Earlier, Mike Johnson, Republican Speaker of the United States House of Representatives, stated that the bill for supplementary funding for Ukraine would be considered as soon as the federal government's financing issues are resolved. U.S. House Speaker Mike Johnson effectively agreed to unblock the decision to provide aid to Ukraine, but with significant changes. As a House of Representatives bill and in the form of a loan or lend lease. He also admitted that aid to Ukraine and Israel would still be divided into separate bills. Any new bill will have to receive enough votes in both the House and the Senate. China may attack Taiwan by 2027, US top admiral says. China is expanding its military and nuclear arsenal, and these signs indicate that it is ready to invade Taiwan by 2027, according to the commander of the United States Indo-Pacific Command, Admiral John Aquilino. Bloomberg reports, according to him, despite China's economic problems, its official defense budget has increased by 16% in recent years, exceeding $223 billion. The admiral added that in the three years since he took command, China's army has introduced an additional 400 fighter jets and over 20 large military ships into its arsenal. Beijing has also doubled its arsenal of ballistic and cruise missiles since 2020. All indications point to the People's Liberation Army meeting President Xi Jinping's directive to be ready to invade Taiwan by 2027, Aquilino said. According to Aquilino, Chinese military forces are also practicing various tasks related to operations against Taiwan, including simulating encirclement through maritime and air blockades. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Lin Jian states that Taiwan is China's internal affair, accusing Washington of causing division in the Asia-Pacific region. Some people in the US have been trying to hype up the China threat narrative to escalate tensions across the strait and instigate confrontation. We firmly oppose that, he said. China's defense budget remains as much smaller than that of the United States. President Joe Biden proposed a Pentagon budget of $850 billion for the fiscal year 2025 earlier this month. This includes $500 million for replenishing armaments, which will be provided to Taiwan under the first funding request aimed at addressing aggression in the region and ensuring continuous support for Taiwan. In the spring of 2022, President Joe Biden stated that the United States was ready to use force to defend Taiwan.